we're back. Yeah, started the video off with a clearing of the throat. That's great. We're back with Creeptober. Last time we met uh, Kyle Madigan. He told us about a shelter on the water tower up there. We made out, had a great session. No, that didn't happen. But yeah, so now our boss told us to go find out about that shelter. He's going to do some digging into Kyle. And we're supposed to go over to that blinking red dot but we found a key on the water tower which goes to this door right here the saloon key i guess I hate those things. Those are mind sucklers. We get a combat light. Let's heal up. Yeah. Now we're in this area. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, wait, no. There's something in here. Uh, where's the refrigerator? something on the door we get a magnet <laughs> yeah, just borrow this you know RPG rules we could take whatever we need no no I want the start menu okay All right, key item menu and the magnet <clears throat> it's just a coke magnet I don't know how they get it they get away with you know just putting that in the thing. But now we can go in the front of the store. Some more monsters here. still alive. Is that her feet? But I... Yeah, those things are just ugh. They were doing pretty good here. Yeah, this should be the store. It looks like it says Gar, but it's G and R. You know, Guns and Roses, very, very multifaceted. Uh, let's see here. What is inside here? Oh, wait. I'm getting all discombobulated. I need to check inventory. Okay, I'm full up on inventory. So... Uh, there is a recovery one in the locker. Do I have anything to space it? No, I don't. Yeah. There's a recovery one in the locker of the other room of this bar. But I can't, obviously I can't go pick it up now. <clears throat> Eventually, at some point, I will have to go back and off-screen go through... The rear areas that are hot again. And then I will be able to pick up anything that I miss. So if I can't pick up something, I'm just going to uh, tell you what is there. And then, you know, you can decide if you want to go pick it up yourself. Okay, a map of dry field. And now we have La Map. Uh, see, we can see room three and four, the general store, all that stuff, trailer coach, dilapidated house, all these places that we haven't been to yet. Okay, there 
and there's also there's a cooler by the front door here which has a coke in it that we can't grab because you know is there it's a refrigerator yeah we got a can but inventory is full so i'll get that eventually anywhere at some point in the future and now we open the front door because you know it's unlocked now out in the parking lot here is one of these guys Or I can just get knocked down. Yeah, and once he's once he goes down, the scorpions freaking come out. There should be six of them. If you guys are gonna just gonna freaking sit there and let me shoot you, then. Hydro bullets from them. Let's uh eat one of these. You grab that coke. Enemies should not respawn by just moving between rooms. Like I kind of want to grab this coke now because. Uh, it's a more custom or a more rare item than <clears throat> the recovery one that's in the other room there. Uh, but yeah, it actually is a very solid MP boost as well as a little bit of HP, so it's worth keeping. But we're not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go back to uh, Le Car, which is right over there. It's going to pass me through. Uh, oh, actually, I didn't even I didn't even notice that. If you press the triangle button on the map, it gives you help of what your objective is. I did not notice that. I'm going to go back to Le Car and drop some of these items off. no like there's no dodging in this game there's none it's about as bad as like you have to I mean I guess yeah technically that worked I still hate those guys. Alright, so we have... Let's restock. Get our ammo back. Let me do the car. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think... I think you can pretty much put as much... With recovery three in there because we don't need anything that strong yet. Uh, the coal is going in there. Uh, I'm gonna put in a stim and a penicillin because I don't think I need to carry that many. And this combat light because I don't care about them. 
And the flare, because I don't use them. Uh, I'm going to take the... So I'm going to try to keep one of the... Is there no way to sort my inventory? I do want to take one of the... Or the uh, protein drink... So I can have it for... There we go. Okay, so that's not... Square is back out? R1, L1, R2. No. Circle? No, that's back out as well. Maybe how much? 15, 50? I'm going to save for that. Yeah, there's no real way to farm experience in this game. It's areas become hot after certain plot events that will cause enemies to respawn. Like, yeah, the garage is hot again. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs to my balcony and there's going to be six more scorpions. But yeah, if I wander around Lost without actually completing any sort of objective for a while, you could do so free of enemies. Like, see, if we look over, all the stuff that we cleared out is still clear. There's a water hole. Yeah, the balcony's hot, but that's it. Nope. I gotta clear this stuff anyway. Go, go up the stairs, Aya. there just let me shoot them. Like, it seems like they can't even be bothered to after, as I'm shooting them. Okay, so... Yeah, so that's that. Nope, wrong button. I keep pressing, I keep pressing triangle to back out. That's not how that works. Okay, so uh, now if you hadn't, if I hadn't come back in here at the end of the last episode to uh, call the boss, you would do that now. Um, you know, should I call him anyway? No, we'll be fine. I'm going to go back into this room over here and grab the item that I had to pass up because my inventory was full. Yeah, it should be in this locker. Now, as Ryan noted in the... as he's playing the first game, the treasure and stuff in that game is essentially completely random. You could open a treasure box in one game, in one game, or in uh, your first playthrough, it'll be, you know, uh, recovery one. You could open it in the next game, and it'll be, you know, ammo. Where the hell? I know you're here. 
Come on, nope. Yeah, get on the ground. Not waste any time on you again. Yeah, that was a bit, I don't say a bit of a waste, but we get an MP boost, just in case, you know. Oh, well, pff, that sucks. Oh, interesting. Uh, Gary, I need you to... I need you to answer me. Uh, it's the milkman. <laughs> oh, it's you. You have a peg leg? I didn't even notice that. What? There's nothing over, nothing over there but a rock. Around to the trailer. Well, um. Oh, look. Well, this is what we needed to go into the uh, saloon for because we need the magnet to bring the key. Come on. You mother. God, this is really ridiculous. Come on, up this way. And then finally, we get the key. After a stupid malarkey mini game. You no longer need this key. Will you discard it? I wish Resident Evil had. Uh, this is not the room with the enemies in it, is it? Okay. So, yeah. Wait, what did that say? But how is that like a different objective than what I was just doing? Wait, is it? No. Okay, it is that way. I'm surprised they didn't reset this puzzle and make you do it again. Or make you do it some other way. Thing was literally like two inches in front of her and she couldn't shoot it. <laughs> nope. What I do want to do is level this up though. Okay, that still doesn't actually reduce its cost, huh? Yeah, I think the next thing is to get uh Maybe this? 750? Not bad. I probably should have fucking healed. I keep forgetting. I should have healed up before then. Alright, so. Nope. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Okay. There's nothing in here that we can grab. So, this door it is. Okay, this is uh, Gary's dog, Flint. Take care of this dog. Because there's a, a thing that you can do. Well, not that you can do, really. There's a thing that can happen that can cause this dog to perish. And you don't want that to have to happen. Because he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh shit! He's uh, a little loaded for bear. And what? Is, his peg leg is clearly right there. The typical American's got all the guns. Now 
I kind of told him about you. A sturdy iron box. Let's talk to the Gary here, and you, we're gonna tell him about or ask him about the shelter in the next episode. We're gonna see if we can buy anything here. Any new armor? All right, ammo, buckshot rifle, grenades. We're gonna purchase some grenades because we do we will need them. Uh, rifle clip holder increases ammo capacity by thirty. Bayonet, grenade pistol. We do and we need this. We will need this for a boss fight pretty soon. Any things I need here? No. Yeah, this is this is kind of good because you can get like, you know. Uh, pretty much, I don't say infinite recoveries, but every time, you know, you have trouble trying to restock on things after, you know, doing all the possible grinding that you can do with all the hotspots. See, is there any... Does it note if any of my stuff is hot yet? Okay, so, no. We'll find that out next time. Uh, what? No, oh, he's giving us permission to use the phone. I bought a gun. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I won't. You're you're. <laughs> oh, so our boss left. Oh, sh just stop. Awful. It's hot. Hotel 6. Gas station. Okay, so next time we'll talk to Baldwin about the shelter and continue on from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having a safe holiday season. Remember, Creeptober is for everyone, but at the same time, you need to Make sure that you're having, you're protecting yourself and having a good time, and being responsible. Uh, remember, peep the links below for all the other people doing all the awesome Creeptober stuff, and I will see you next time for more Parasite Eve 2. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all of your support, and have a good night.